Hello, this is Liam from Flame Farm Studios and welcome to uh, a video which we haven't really done something like this in a long time. If you remember back in, I think it was the early uh, Cremium Sodium era from, uh, you might remember from when we were saying about the Google Stadia which was due for release. Uh, in fact, they announced release date now, but like, yeah, seems as if they've shot themselves in the foot. So any of you Stadia fans, here's my message for you. <laughs> like, seriously, like, it looks as if the Stadia might fail in its objective to finally kill off console gaming as, you know, it's a streaming box, basically. Like, you have to pay for the games and also for the streaming services. Which uh, doesn't really sound like a good mix together. And, like, I don't really think it would succeed, if you ask me. It's like, before people uh, would refer to as the console, it's going to be a big threat to the top three uh, gaming sites, Microsoft, Sony, and Xbox. Now it just looks as if it could fail miserably just like its predecessors. Like here's some Wikipedia pages for you. Like look at the bottom text. That says that the study will have two tiers for the subscription service. The base level is free and the pro level which is sort of almost on like YouTube premium will be $10 per month. I don't know how much that is in pounds but yeah. I'm sure, but like, I'm wondering what would happen if, for example, you decide, oh guys, well, I'm not going to pay. Maybe it's going to be the same as the YouTube Premium, where it'll just uh, take away all your downloads or something. But we'll see uh, when it's released. Here it says about the countries which the Stadia will launch in. Now, this is kind of a weird one, as Usually, big, uh, the big companies, even some small ones, would prefer to release it worldwide on just one date. It's been like that since 2013, but, uh, or probably even before that. Like Nintendo will be Pokemon X Y as its first Nintendo game to be launched worldwide on the same day, so I'm mostly just relying on that. But like, usually right now, you wouldn't really expect me companies to release uh, a console even on the just one and just a certain amount of territories where and then put out in many more countries later on and <laughs> and like it's just 14 countries not sure how many there are but there'll be a lot and this is a huge change of reaction from the uh, from the people who are reacting to the announcement conference back in the 17th of March 2019 Yes, that was two days later about measure those time differences But like It's kind of weird to think of how one uh, console which becomes so uh, which looks like it would be a great success and will probably kill off the curse of Streaming consoles, we saw out the Ouya and even some good ones like on live. Not sure if that was good, I just bring that up. Like before, people used to think that the Stadia would be able to kill off console gaming. Somewhere as I kind of feared from the beginning, but I can't bet other people were. So, yeah, here was the uh, latest response we got. Now this was what people thought after the latest conference on the 6th of June 2019. That was from Push Square, uh, Square and yeah just sort of how many people were not very that was happy about the studies new. I don't know what you could call it but it's not looking good for Google at this moment. I saw many posts on Twitter about uh, people criticizing the uh, Stadia and Google for, you know, many obvious reasons. I saw that one from here and here, so that was absolutely right.
mighty good for me. Well, I, if you ask me, I think that is, uh, that Google will ha have to work extra hard if they want to study it to succeed. And it's uh, upwards of uh, be pretty gory for them if they compete in the console war. But that does not mean that Google will feel badly in the in this program age for them. Like if you've ever seen about the story of the Nintendo 3DS of how a fairly uh, overpriced handheld console with a 3D uh, or that no one even uses managed to become one of the best selling consoles uh, at this moment of time. At least that's why for from last time I checked. And even, and even though Google, uh, the Google said even with its technical advantages, like for example, you can see that the GPU uh, teraflops been way more than the PS1, Xbox and One X. But I like, guess you could be able to see they have a company like Google, which uh, we remember was pretty much critiqued by many people. Back in recent ages, uh, but like that does not mean that they will fail. Only problem I would say about it is that I don't think the Wi-Fi uh, thing would work. Many people use Wi-Fi, and but but like so you know, low Wi-Fi speeds can still affect the Stadia terribly. So that's one of the many problems of the Stadia that they would have to work out soon. So yeah. So that's the end of uh, today's episode, in fact not really episodes, more opinion video. Uh, and yeah, sorry for the PUBG music playing in the background, except I do not apologise because, you know, PUBG is one of the best games I've played, and I've played Fortnite. But like, yeah, if you want you could subscribe, it's not something you have to do, but I would appreciate it. You can leave a like or you can leave a dislike. And you can leave a comment down below if you wish. Bye guys.